that massive crib recall that we were the first to tell you about yesterday. This involves more than 2 million cribs here in the U.S. and Canada, 1.2 million in this country alone. It is the single largest crib recall in U.S. history. Consumer correspondent Susan Copen broke the story yesterday. She is back with all the details this morning. Good morning. Good morning, Maggie. The cribs are made by a company called Storkcraft, which is based in Canada. All of the cribs have drop-down sides that can malfunction, and they were sold at some of the most popular stores in America. At the Sugar and Spice Daycare in Lafayette, Louisiana, they are scrambling to figure out what to do with dozens of cribs, now part of the nation's largest crib recall. It really is disturbing. We need to, you know, take care of it while we can and, you know, make sure that nobody else is hurt or injured. The cribs, made by Storkcraft Manufacturing, have been linked to more than 100 incidents of the side rail detaching, in some cases falling off the crib completely. Numerous children have been injured. Four children have died, two in New York, one in West Virginia, and one in Louisiana. The problem involves plastic hardware that can break, causing the side rail to detach from the crib. That creates a space big enough for an infant to become trapped and suffocate. Manufacturers are putting hardware to make those sides drop down and the hardware is not substantial. The recalled cribs were manufactured between January 1993 and October 2009, some carrying the Fisher Price logo. The Consumer Product Safety Commission says parents should stop using the cribs immediately and contact Storkcraft for a free repair kit. And we have placed numerous calls to the company, but we were unable to reach anybody for a comment, Maggie. All right, since we have a crib here, let's show parents how kids are getting stuck. Yeah, that's the number one question parents have been asking me. So the plastic breaks, this side moves away from the mattress and the headboard, and the baby rolls in its sleep and just mm. sort of gets wedged in there. Their face is pushed up against the mattress and they suffocate. What would the free repair kits do for us? The repair kit, if you were able to get one, you it will immobilize this side. So you will no longer be able to move this up and down. It will be in a locked position. So you have four static sides on your crib. But no word on how long it could take to get I've, these kits. I've heard that it's been very difficult to get on the website and try to get in touch with anybody at the company. We tried, but it, it, we'll see what happens. The repair kits are out there. They're free and they are for you. All right, Susan Copen, thank you.